And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Anodontosaurus, which was a request from Tyrant King and Crow via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was an ankylosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Alberta, Canada, in the Horseshoe Canyon Formation. It looked like other ankylosaurs, you know, it was low to the ground, it was on four legs, covered in armor, had a club tail. Ooh, ankylosaurid. Those are the best ankylosaurs. Yes, it is an ankylosaurid. So its body was covered in armor, and it had a wide, pointed tail club. What do you mean by pointed? Just the general shape. So like pointed towards the tip? I think it's more to do with the osteoderms on it that are pointed. This tail club, though, was wider than it was long. Oh, I see what you mean. More like a hammer than like a bat with a weight on it or something. Mm-hmm. That's intense. <laughs> As most ankylosaurs <laughs> are, or maybe all. Now, being an ankylosaur, it was herbivorous. They also had small polygonal plates of bone behind the eye. Good for protection. Yeah. It was also herbivorous. There's two species, Anodontosaurus lami and Anodontosaurus inceptus. And the type species is Anodontosaurus lami. The fossils were found in 1916 by Sternberg, and then it was named in 1929 by Charles M. Sternberg. The holotype is a partially preserved skeleton that includes the skull and armor, including the first cervical half ring, but the skeleton was pretty badly crushed. The genus name Anodontosaurus means toothless lizard. That's based on the fact that this crushing compression of the skeleton made it lose its teeth and shift some round, flat elements from below the skull to the top of the lower jaw. So Sternberg thought that it had these large plates instead of teeth. Weird. Yes. And the species name is in honor of Lawrence Lamb, for the type species. In 1986, Coombs found one specimen of Anodontosaurus to be a juvenile, based on sacral ribs not being fused to vertebrae, though he considered Anodontosaurus to be Euoplocephalus. That specimen included ribs, vertebrae, right hind limb, feet, and other fragments. And back in 1971, Walter Coombs had said that there was only one type of ankylosaur during the Campanian in North America. Oh man, that's quite a claim. Yes, he synonymized Anodontosaurus, Dioplosaurus, and Scolosaurus with Euoplocephalus, but he didn't really explain why. He mentioned some differences in skull size and shape, but there was no skull known for Dioplosaurus or Scolosaurus. Then Victoria Arbor and others re-described Dioplosaurus and said that that was valid. That was in 2009. And in 2010, they said that Anodontosaurus was also distinct based on the tail club, skull ornamentation, and triangular knob osteoderms. So she reassigned all the ankylosaurine specimens from Horseshoe Canyon Formation that were considered to be Euoplocephalus to Anodontosaurus based on them having these consistently similar tail club knots. So it suggested they were all from the same taxon. Mm. Three studies in 2013 also said that Anodontosaurus was valid, and Scolosaurus was also found to be valid. Victoria Arbor and Phil Curry also referred a specimen from Dinosaur Park Formation to Anodontosaurus, which lived a few million years earlier than the other specimens. In 2018, Paul Pankowski made that specimen the holotype of the new species Anodontosaurus inceptus. Yeah, I can see a few million years apart. Mm Mm-hmm. Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place as Anodontosaurus include the Troodontid, Alberta venador, Ceratopsians, like Pachyrhinosaurus, Ornithomimids, like Struthiomimus and Ornithomimus, Hadrosaurs, like Edmontosaurus, Hippacrosaurus, Parkosaurus, Saurolophus, and the Tyrannosaur, Albertosaurus. It needed some good armor with all those big predators around. It did. And if you want to see more of Anodontosaurus, it's in the game Path of Titans. Seems like a really cool ankylosaur with a pointy tail club that's super wide. (laughs) I think you say that about all ankylosaurs. Probably. There aren't that many ankylosaurs, (laughs) especially ankylosaurids. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash inodino or click the link on the left.